and welcome to another TA Tech Tip. In this tech tip, we will demonstrate how to install and calibrate a compression clamp on a DMA850. This compression clamp kit has two sets of plates. They are 15 mm and 40 mm. Depending on the dimension of the sample you need to measure, you can select and attach the appropriate diameter plates to the movable and fixed clamp. For example, we are now attaching the 15 mm diameter plate to the clamps for the calibration. Open TRIO software and connect it to a DMA850. Under Experiment, click on the arrow on the clamp icon. From the drop-down list, select the name of the clamp you want to install and calibrate. For example, Compression Clamp. If this clamp file has not been previously created, then click on Add new clamp. Select Compression, then click on Next. In this page, select the appropriate sample geometry, for example, round disk, then click on Next again. Specify the name of this clamp by entering Compression Clamp Disk. Click on Finish to create this compression clamp file. Then, TRIOS will automatically lead you to perform the clamp calibration. First, clamp mass calibration. From the instrument touch screen, lock the drive shaft. Install the movable clamp to the drive shaft. Then, close the furnace. From TRIO software, press Calibrate to begin. This calibration is to measure the mass of the movable clamp. After it is finished, click on Accept. The second step is the clamp compliance calibration. Install the fixed clamp to the four posts. Tighten the screws with the hex key provided in the clamp kit. Inspect the alignment between the upper and lower plates. Use this 316 nut driver to loose the center screw so the upper plates can free rotate. From the bottom right corner of TRIO software, enter 2 Newton as the preload force. Then, from the instrument touch screen, apply this preload force to the plate. Let the two plates in full contact, then tighten this center screw again. Enter 0 as the calibration sample thickness, then press Calibrate to begin. This calibration step will take about one minute. If this calibration is finished normally, the calibration value should typically be lower than 1.0 micrometer per newton. If your calibration value is greater than one, usually it means the upper and lower plates are not in good alignment. You can further adjust the alignment, then redo the compliance calibration again. After it is all finished, click on Accept. In this tech tip, we have demonstrated how to install and calibrate a compression clamp on a DMA850. Please stay tuned for more TA tech tips and thank you for your interest.